Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more about uh, an experience that we had last night. Could have been bad. Still might be bad, but I think we're doing okay. Um, raw hides. Everybody's got an opinion about them in the uh, dog world, it seems. And it seems like you either love them or hate them. And I am kind of on the fence about them. I don't really love them or hate them. I think they have a use, but I understand both sides of the argument. Um, so I'm going to tell you what happened with him last night and what my thoughts are on them now going forward and what I plan on doing. So we have rawhide shoes for him. Just kind of use them when, uh, when he's kind of bored and we can't really do much with them if we're making dinner or something. We don't want to put them in his crate. We want to leave them out. And it gives him something to do. And he pretty much gets like a kid watching a movie where he just zones in on this thing and the house could be burning down and he's not going to know the difference. So I think we've given him, I don't know, we got a pack of five or six and he's gone through two or three of them. Usually we let him chew on them for about an hour. And after about an hour, he starts softening them up enough that he's taking chunks off and uh, kind of starting to swallow little bits and pieces. And that's when we take it away and throw it away and that's it. And it usually takes him about an hour to soften it enough up to even get a little chunk off. So there's never been an issue. Well, last night, my wife gives him one. She was busy doing something and I was in the garage doing something. And I get back in and she's crawling around on the floor looking under the couch. And two is crawling around on the floor right behind her. And I ask what's going on. And she says they're looking for the rawhide bone that she had given him. Okay, well, how long had he had it? She said no more than 20 minutes to a half hour. Okay, well, every rawhide he's had before that has taken him way longer than that, at least an hour to even get that thing, one end of it softened up enough to, uh, to even pull a chunk or something off. So I get down and look, and he didn't leave the room. We had him gated in. And we looked everywhere that it could have possibly been, and we couldn't find it. So we came to the conclusion that somehow this guy managed to swallow this thing completely whole. I have no idea how. How he didn't choke on the thing is beyond me. Um, I have it here with me. I'll show you a little size comparison here in a second. I don't want him to see it now and get all excited before we're just about wrapped up with this. But it was a miracle in itself that he didn't choke on this thing. So, like usual, you, you assume worst case scenario right away. So I get on the internet and start Googling and find all these other situations. Um, decided on not calling the vet or anything. It was late last night. Everything I was reading is, if he's not choking on it, that's the first battle. So we won that. Second battle is, if he's not eating, if he's not pooping, stuff like that. So this morning we fed him his breakfast, ate that just fine. He went out and pooped just fine. So that's a plus. Um, just got home from work, get fed him his lunch. Same thing, he ate that just fine and pooped just fine. So I don't think we're a hundred percent out of the woods just yet, but I think we're close. I think if he poops again tonight and tomorrow morning, I can't imagine there's going to be an issue, but we're definitely going to keep a close eye on him. Um, yeah, so I know some people like them and some people don't. I would, I would say if, if you're going to give your dog a rawhide, just pay attention to them and definitely never leave them alone with them because if they choke on them when they're alone, then it's, it's all over. I mean, there's going to be nothing that you can do. Um, I would say... I'm probably going to go ahead and just be done with them after that experience. And I'll show you guys the size of this thing. Here. So that's our rawhide. He managed to swallow one of these things whole. There's, yeah, and he wants it again. 
And like I said, I know he did not have this thing worked down to, uh, to very soft at all because it takes way longer than 20 minutes for him to do that. So this whole thing managed to go down his throat whole and hard, just like that. So, as a matter of fact, I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with this thing. That's where those are going to go from now on. Right, Tula? So, if anything changes with this whole rawhide experience, I'll be sure to let you guys know. If not, and everything stays okay, we won't talk about it again. So, hopefully everything stays okay. Thanks for watching, guys.